Our next task is to fabricate a cable tray reducer or enlarger, depending which way you're looking at it. There are going to be times when you're going to have many cables and you're going to reduce those down to just one or two. So you can reduce the size of the tray to make it cheaper and easier for you to work with. Or it might be the opposite way around where you start off with the one cable and you pick up a lot more cables. Too many cables full of small size and you need to go to the larger size. I have seen in the past electricians just bolting cable trays together like so. This looks unsightly and unprofessional. And as you can see, you can make it look so much more appealing. To start with, we need two pieces of cable tray. One 100 millimetres, another 50 millimetres. I'm using two short pieces, but you could use this and fabricate this on the end of a full three metre length of cable tray. First things is to place the two trays so they overlap approximately 100 millimetres, so you have a good strength there. And then using your marker pen, mark the width of the smallest of the trays. When you've done that, what you need to do is consider the angle that you're going to use. I'm going to make this easy and go for 45 degrees, but you could make this a lot more or a lot less, depends on your personal preference at the time. Place the square on and get it so that the actual tray lines up with the mark here. Once we've done that, out comes the old trusty tape measure. Measure that gap. I've got the measurement at 70 millimetres. Now I have that measurement, what I need to do is working from the top here, I'm just going to mark it so that you can see, I need to mark 70 millimetres yet again, but I'm going back towards the opening. Remember, this distance here, I'm going to call this distance A, has to be the same as this distance here. Again, I mark it as A. Then from this point here, to this point here, I need to draw a line and connect the two points up from here to here. What you need to do now, you're going to use a nibbler to cut along this line to this point. You are then going to cut along this line to this point, making sure you do not remove the edge of the tray. You also will cut from this point here to this point here, again making sure you do not remove this line here. Once we got to this section, all we have to do is place these in and push them in like so. You can already see now that we've actually nearly got our reducer. All we have to do is place our tray in like so and we need to put some nuts and bolts into here and at this point here and then we have a reducer.